Welcome to the Monday, September 22nd, 2014 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Erner Berry Seafood Wall Charts. In today's report, New England's Ground Fish Committee proposes measures to help the Gulf of Maine cod industry. Plus, we check in on the HRI Buyer's Guide Movers of the Week. But first, we break down the USDA September edition of its Catalan Feed Report. Here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. Cattle on feed as of September 1st was 0.8% below year-ago levels, extending the string of months in which the on-feed number was below the previous year to 25. Placements of young cattle into the nation's feed yards in August were down 2.9% from a year ago, and the smallest in that data series for that month dating back to 1996. The USDA reported cattle marketings at 9.6% below a year ago and 11.9% below the five-year average. Analysts said the data is considered basically neutral for cattle futures, as supplies were already expected to remain tight for the coming year or more. For the complete breakdown of the latest cattle on feed report, click on the news link under the red meat tab in Comtel. Meanwhile, up in New England, fish managers were asked to consider a series of proposals from the region's ground fish committee that are aimed at rebuilding the Gulf of Maine's inshore cod stocks. Here is SeafoodNews.com staff writer Michael Ramsing with the details. The New England Fishery Council's Ground Fish Committee has selected two Gulf of Maine cod management recommendations to forward to the full council at their October meeting. In response to an updated stock assessment that found inshore cod populations are sharply lower than expectations. The committee's first option will reintroduce many of the area closures for cod that had been suspended or exempted for quota holders. Under the second recommendation, all recreational cod fishing in the area west of 70 degrees in the Gulf would be banned. These proposals, among others, in the committee's report are in response to a cod stock assessment from over the summer that found the spawning biomass reached an all-time low to just 3% to 4% of what's needed for a sustainable fishery. The New England Fishery Management Council is expected to vote on these proposals at their upcoming meeting, which is scheduled to run from September 30th to October 2nd in Portland, Maine. Keep up with the latest Gulf of Maine cod stock developments along with other daily seafood industry news by signing on to seafoodnews.com. Thanks, Michael. Here to wrap up today's show is Erner Berry's Adam Sharkey with a report on the current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions, according to our HRI Buyer's Guide. We start off our look at this week's movers with veal breasts, where values trended higher last week as supplies were reportedly still tight. Year-to-date veal production is down roughly 12% compared to the same time last year. Meanwhile, the shoulder clod firmed last week, one of the lone winners in the beef complex. The popularity of ground beef remained the largest supporting factor. There was, however, further interest from the export business and the hint of fall usage. Add it all up and we were up 5.33%. We turn to the pork market to round today's report, where retail-oriented items like the loin have seen substantial gains in recent days and weeks. A seasonal pickup in demand, led by features that have improved from earlier in the summer, has helped keep loin supplies in check. An inability to slaughter enough hogs due to the lingering effects of PEDV have prevented the supply from building up and paved the road for notable premiums. As a result, bone-in loins gained over 5.5% last week. Thanks, Adam. That'll conclude today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Today's video is sponsored by Erner Berry Seafood Wall Chart Series. These fully laminated wall charts focus on the U.S. market and emphasize the most common commercial Gulf of Mexico, East Coast fish and shellfish, and sport fish. Please visit shop.ernerberry.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your posters today.